All that Romney 47% stuff, forget about that. We've got something that's going to totally shake up the race and totally change the eventual destiny of the 2012 presidential election. Um, the Drudge Report, Sean Hannity, The Daily Caller are all super excited about this exclusive video they've got. Actually, why don't we listen to Tucker Carlson talk about it. On the eve of the first presidential debate, a bombshell is about to be dropped on the 2012 race for the White House because tonight you will hear from Barack Obama like you have never heard from him before. A video has been uncovered. It contains some of the most divisive class warfare and racially charged rhetoric ever used by Barack Obama. Wow. He is literally erect under his desk because he thinks they've got him. They've got Obama. Um, why don't we, before we comment on it, why don't we actually watch part of the, the comments that yes. were released yesterday? This isn't in the prepared remarks. It, down in New Orleans, where they still have not rebuilt 20 months later, there's a law, federal law, when you get uh, reconstruction money from the federal government called the Stafford Act. And basically it says, when you get federal money, you've got to give a 10% match. The local government's got to come up with 10%. Every $10 federal government comes up with, local government's got to give a dollar. Now here's the thing. When 9-11 happened in New York City, they waived the Stafford Act. Said, this is too serious a problem. We can't expect New York City to rebuild on its own. Forget that, that dollar you got to put in. Well, here's $10. And that was the right thing to do. When Hurricane Andrew struck in Florida, people said, look at this devastation. We don't expect you to come up with your own money. Here, here's the money to rebuild. We're not going to wait for you to scratch it together because you're part of the American family. What's happening down in New Orleans? Where's your dollar? Where's your Stafford Act money? Makes no sense. Tells me the bullet hasn't been taken out. Tells me that somehow the people down in New Orleans, they don't care about as much. Now, really fast, just to give you some context, if you haven't seen other parts of this, uh, this video, which have been publicly available since 2007. Um, he, he mentioned a bullet in an arm, and he, he was doing a, a like, long-running analogy of a woman who had been shot while she was pregnant, gave birth to the baby. The baby was actually born with the bullet lodged in his arm. That was during the L.A. riots. Exactly. And he was using that as sort of an, a an analogy to like, the lingering problems in the community and that sort of thing. So just so you know what that reference was to. Um, is the election over after these devastating racially charged comments from Obama from five years ago? All right, so first of all, um, they are now trying to paint him as the angry black man. Mm -hmm. Before he was the lazy black man. <laughs> Everyone's on welfare. Nobody's working. They just, get, they just get free money. And this is such a sad and desperate attempt. And uh, I'm not even angry. I just think it's pathetic. It's over. The election is over, but in the other direction. Mm -hmm. I mean, Obama's got this on lockdown. What I'm amazed about is how Hannity is acting as if this is like a new video, like a, a, a never before seen video that yeah. no one had ever talked about, no one had ever noticed until now. But after Obama had given that very public speech, Fox News had talked about it. Yeah. You know, so it is something that has been brought to people's attention. And I'm trying to understand what he said in that video that was wrong. Now, there, there are a couple criticisms, right? The angry black man criticism. And then there was the criticism of the way he was speaking to the audience. Because he was speaking to the audience differently than how he would speak during, like, a State of the Union address, yeah. for instance, right? But so, so what? what? So, okay, <laughs> right, let's put it in context. He was speaking at a Hampton University in Virginia. Mm -hmm which is a historically black college, in front of a black audience. And he right. spoke in, in a tone that resonated more with them. So what? So what? Mm -hmm. Who cares? The way I speak to, let's say, a college professor or to a boss is very different from the way I would speak to you guys or mm -hmm. to a friend, Wait, right? I you. Just <laughs> right? Like you change the way you speak based on the setting you're in. And at the end of the day, Barack Obama is a politician. And I hate when we criticize politicians for being politicians. Yeah. Right? And then also what he said, let's, let's dissect that a little bit, is what he said crazy. Because what he said was absolutely right. Our response to Hurricane Katrina 
was not right. There was something wrong there. And why is it that we were so slow to respond to what happened in New Orleans? Yeah, r really fast to a prior point before we move into that. Um, they're criticizing him for using this fake Southern accent and saying that look how disingenuous he is. Of course, um, I, I think it was actually talked about in The Daily Show, uh, uh, Mitt Romney has also used fake Southern accents back in March, actually, not five years ago, just this year mm -hmm. he used it. But, but as to what you were saying about the substance of the arguments, I think Obama had a great argument to make that, that he was citing these other natural disasters that had happened and the Stafford Act was waived in those cases, not just 9-11, but hurricanes, hurricanes in that region, mm -hmm. other hurricanes that he didn't, he didn't even mention. In Hawaii, there was a similar one that happened. Um, and so I think that, that the actual substance of his points makes sense. It should have been waived. It was, in some cases, some money was given and it didn't have to be matched uh, one to 10. Um, but also, uh, I think that one of the reasons that the release of this video and attempting to focus on it from the right's point of view is a misstep is that he is legitimately criticizing a Republican response to a natural disaster. And I think that, that bringing this up is only to remind people of how bad the Republicans did back then and do you want to be governed by these people again? I don't think this is going to help Mitt Romney. Um, I, right, what, so, what do you think? Yeah, uh, anyway, going back to the Stafford Act and the waivers for it, mm -hmm. Bobby Jindal, uh, who, is then, who was then a congressman, he's Republican, a uh, very staunch conservative, he basically echoed the comments of Barack Obama saying that you know, the Stafford Act must be waived under these circumstances. And, and they were waived um, for s some portions of it. So mm -hmm. there's nothing that he said there that was inaccurate. It, yeah. it's, that's all correct. Now, the criticism from the right which is, I mean, to be, to be generous, semi-valid, is that he's trying to divide Americans. Mm -hmm. that's, that's a big criticism. He's a black man who's trying to rile up the black people against white people. Do you see how he's for the black team and not for the white team? That's what they're really trying to say. Now, I mean, is that val criticism valid? Well, I mean, in some theoretical way, perhaps, because mm -hmm. he is, uh, speaking to one race more so than to another race in that instance. But that's what people do during politics. That's what people do when they're campaigning. It's not a big deal. And, and the reality is that President Obama has not come even remotely close to being an advocate for the black, for the, for the black vote. Exactly. During his years of, um, in, in office. What has he done that favored blacks over any other Americans? Yeah. There's not one thing. You're absolutely right about that. In fact, when it comes to his base voters, I feel like he has, you know, largely neglected them in an effort to appeal to those who are in favor of bipartisanship. And, Do you know and who should be the most angry about this video? Black people. They should, oh, I'm they, sure that they will be. Yeah, they, they, um, should, they should say, you know what? Yeah, I remember this fired up uh, senator that we all got excited about. He promised us these things, mm -hmm. and then he didn't deliver. He well, did like, the same old, same old. Like, they, they should be the ones who are, who are angry, not white people who watch this. Related to that, actually, and we're going to get into sort of the aftermath of this and what effect it will actually have on the race, but um, not, even Fox, not even all of Fox News is really buying this. And we have video of Brian Kilmeade saying, like, yeah, you can show this and say that he's going to be a racist president, but he hasn't actually governed that way, so why don't we watch that? That's uh, video six. Here's the problem, I think, and all that could be true, but we just watched President Obama for three and a half years. I don't think he's governed in a racist way at all, and I think that's why that's more, I, I just think that that was going to be an issue. Should have been an issue in 08. Well, why it come out now? That's another issue, but in terms of, does anyone think that, that President Obama is more towards one race? I don't think so. But it's a great point. If they're not even getting the whole office building that Fox is in on their side, I don't think they're going to get the whole country. There's no way. Yeah.